Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talking all things real estate and home ownership related. Well, today we are kicking off a local election series. For the next five weeks, I'll be bringing on different guests to explain to us a different local position that you're going to be voting on or a millage or um, something that you're going to see on the ballot that you will be voting on. So today I have joining me Orion Township Clerk Penny Schultz, and she's going to be kicking off the series explaining to us the voting process and why it's important for you to get out and vote. Without further ado, let's get Penny on to join us. There she is. Hi, Penny. Hi, Tracy. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate your patience while I got connected. Oh, my pleasure. I appreciate you joining us today. I know you are off in a million different directions, and we so appreciate you joining us today and providing us with some information on the voting process, how to get information, and why it's so important, especially at the local level, to get out and vote. So... It's very important that every single voice is heard in this election. There's a lot of important things on the ballot, and we just want to make sure that people know that their voice does matter. Your vote is your voice. And everything from our school board members to our village council members to our judges to proposals that affect the entire state through the Constitution, our governor, there is tons of information on that ballot. You don't want to miss this opportunity. Yes, and I know I saw you sent me a, a sample ballot of what is going to be on there. There are a, There's a lot this year. There's a lot on this ballot. So, yeah, and, and I, I feel like, you know, sometimes people don't get out to vote because they think, oh, you know, it doesn't matter. But especially when it comes to these local positions and these local millages, every vote, like you said, it really does make a difference. It does, yeah. Tracy. We're going to be deciding some of our school board members, Rochester Community School. There will be Pontiac uh, School District board members on there, as well as the Lake Orion yep. Community School District. So whatever district you're in within Orion Township, you will be voting on who will be representing you at the school level. We also want to make sure people realize there's a local proposal for our parks and recreation, and we all love parks. Yes. And looking forward to getting the opportunity to support them. There's three proposals that will um, affect our state constitution. Yeah. And everybody makes sure that they're informed and that they vote. Yeah. We make it easy to vote. Absolutely. And I do in the upcoming weeks, because this is a five week series in the upcoming weeks, I will be bringing on different guests to talk about that parks proposal and some of the other items that are going to be on the ballot so that we're hoping that voters are going to be very informed and get out there and be confident when they head to the polls. Yes, so. you can get a ton of information. You can get all your questions answered before you go to the precinct on election day. We have voter guides from the League of Women Voters. We have those in our office. The library has copies. There's tons of them out for distribution. You can also go to 411 Vote, and that will give you every single candidate profile. It will give you all the proposals, what they will affect. Everything you need can be at your fingertips. We also want to make sure that voters realize that our schools are no longer hosting precincts in for Lake Oregon Community Schools. So we've moved out of all of our schools into other precinct locations. And we have a really great um, guide that you can check out, a QR code that you can scan. Okay. We just want to make it easy for people to know where they need to go. But right. hit the website, oriontownship.org. Okay. Right there on the homepage, you'll find the elections information and you will find everything that you need to get started with your journey on voting. Fantastic. I know I did notice I had a change in my precinct for the primaries in August, and it's closer for me, so I, I love the change. <laughs> so oh, I do too. Yeah. I'm excited. The village of Lake Orion, we're going to have a precinct there, and that is going to be very walkable for the people who yeah. live in the village. Yes, which which I do. So yes, it was fantastic. So so the voting process, can you just give us a very high level overview of what the voting process looks like? I can. Thank okay. you, Tracy. So basically, you have to be registered to vote. Okay. If you've moved to the area, let's get you registered. Stop in and see us. 
and we'll make sure that you have everything that you need to be able to vote on election day. We'll send a voter ID card to your address, your registration address, and you should take that with you to the precinct. You'll need to show your ID when you get there, your driver's license or some form of identification identification. We just want to make sure they know who you are when you get to the precinct. Right. A ballot is issued by an, a trained election inspector. Uh, the voter will go into a secret booth and they'll vote their ballot in private and then they'll scan it into a tabulation system and that tabulates each individual vote that the voter cast it cast. And then at the end of the night, all those votes are transmitted out to Oakland County by way of modem transmission. And so we start to compile all of that information as a community from all 15 precincts to Oakland County, and they'll begin to broadcast that information on their election website. It's a simple process. I think the hardest thing for voters is just being able to get the time to get to the precinct on election day. Yes. But if you can while the polls are open from seven to eight, we want you to know you can vote absentee. Yeah. And an absentee ballot is available anytime before the election. And that's something that I have two college age daughters that are registered to vote in Lake Orion, but they are away at school and will not be in the area on election day. So that's something that they're able to do. They can still make their vote count, uh, but do yeah. it from their respective universities. Yes, and give it time. If you're gonna be um, voting by mail, Go ahead and take that time this week. Get your application in to request an absent voter ballot. We'll start the mailing process. Mail that ballot out to you. You vote and give time to get that ballot back to the township going through the mail process. Yes, absolutely. We still have about five to six weeks before mm -hmm. Election Day. So if you get the, that done in advance, you'll have no issues with the timing. So. I've already had close to 6,500 voters request an absent voter ballot. Wow. That's great. That's I, I, I love it that people are planning in advance. They know they're not going to be at the polls for one reason or another, and they're making sure that they're getting their vote in and their voice heard. I do too, Tracy. Uh -huh. So if you think about it, it's like I'm planning an all-day event at 16 different locations for 31,000 people <laughs> all at the same time. Wow. And so off without a hitch because everyone's engaged from our trained election inspectors to the clerks and election staff here at Orion all the employees at Orion Township are assisting from our parks department our fire department and all the precincts host they're yes. engaged in this and it really is a full community event it is and you know as I mentioned, I have two college-age daughters, and they were both voting for the first time in the August primaries and had a couple of questions, and I have to say that your office is fantastic. Um, yes. You know, and I know always open and, you know, welcome to any calls and questions and um, very informative and get the answers with a, a – you can tell that the people on the other end are smiling as they're giving the information, so. And they really are. Yeah. I have a fan – staff they're just doing a wonderful job and they're here to serve yes yes and we feel that and appreciate that so is so i love young voters vote you said your daughter's for the first time in august i'm heading over to the high school on thursday to register their students to vote and also recruiting election inspectors so we're already getting a great response from our youth that want to be a part of the election process but I'm so happy that the 18 year olds are getting registered and they're voting. Yes, that's great. You know, start early and make it a lifelong commitment to have your voice heard. So, Agree. Yes. Is there anything else that you that you want voters to know about this election or the voting process in general? Yes. Be, remember, it's a two sided ballot. Okay. We want to make that you're voting both sides of your ballot. The proposals mostly are on the back. You do have some of the candidates for the locals as well as the school board on the back. But flip that ballot over, make sure you're voting both sides. And we want people to know that we're gonna be open on Saturday, November 5th from 7 a.m. until 3 p.m. for absent voter balloting. We okay. wanna make sure that people are working throughout the week that can't get in. We wanna make it convenient for them to be able to request an absent voter ballot. And we'll have it set up so that they can vote right here. If they take their ballot home, people can bring it and put it in our surveillance monitored drop box that is right here at 2323 Joslin Road. Okay. And we enter the drop box. We have a process in place. 
we're making sure that all the ballots are accounted for. And it's a fantastic system, a really great checks and balance. Yes, that's great. Nice and secure. And you're adding in that convenience for those who maybe can't mm -hmm. make it to the polls because of work or childcare or whatever the reason, you know, there is an option for everybody to get out and vote this year. There really is, Tracy. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Penny. Is there anything else before I before I let you get back to your busy day that we should know, or do we cover I, it? <laughs> we covered most of it, but I am going to tune in for this series because I'm really happy that you're doing this. It's a fantastic opportunity for the public, and I hope everyone tunes in as well. I'll be in for the other programs and listen to the other guests that are coming, Tracy. Thank fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Penny. Thank you for joining us. Thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. I hope that you tune in as well over the next four to five weeks to get all of the information before you go out and vote this November. I hope you have a fantastic week, and we'll see you next Tuesday on Tea with Tracy. Bye-bye.